so in that there's so many nuances of life that you learn one is that being a student of the game of tennis the craft is one thing about how to hit every shot in the book but then there's to be a champion you got to know life you got to know how to play life well mm -hmm. um, i think what differentiates normal to excellence is between the two temples okay is the intelligence to take the god given talent you have or the hard work that you need to put in or believing in yourself under pressure mm. handling triumph handling tough days like today and uh, still being the best you can be okay. you know i think if you look at any athlete's career ratio of win to loss there's more failure than success but some of us are very karma luck hard work timing team <laughs> We're able to win at the right moments, so we're very blessed. Okay. Then, uh, you can the street is open now. Pune open. Does it feel like the chapter is closing every time? Books are shutting, no? <laughs> so <laughs> the library will be closed. How do you feel when you're actually exiting the court? Now, when I was exiting the court today, I just said a big thank you. Yeah. You know, I uh, those lines of a tennis court have given me so much. I've lived a lot of my life within those lines and. For someone like me who is very disciplined as an athlete, um, there's a certain way. <laughs> Trust you to do that, Udita. <laughs> Superb. So, I think that uh, when I was walking out, I was just looking at the lines because um, there's a certain way I look at tennis. There's a certain way I look at the tennis court. And when I just looked at the lines, there was just flashbacks of of matches I've played, flashbacks of moments, flashbacks of memories. And in Australia, when I left the court, there was a big flashback of moments there. In Pune, I've had flashbacks of Davis Cup and moments here. I think everywhere I play, there's just a rekindling. I'm the sort of guy that, through my whole career, I really haven't read. Or watched the archives, or what one's done, because I'm always trying to stay in the moment or look ahead. But now, when I look back, you know, it's like it's like a picture reel. It's like shots, things, that moments, dives. In Australia, on the court, we play that. I remember at one point I played there when uh, Radek Stepanek and myself won 2012. I remember one shot, Martina Hingis and myself. One rally we played there when we won in 15. I remember on that same court, Kara Black and myself. Some crazy 1:45 a.m. mixed doubles match, eight all in a match tie break. And Kara hit a lob. The guy hit a smash over her head. I ran back. I put it back up in the air backwards. Ball went lucky all the way back to the baseline. I ran in. They hit a shot to her. She volleyed up. You know, the guy ran in to hit that car. I just ran across and I played a reflex volley because he was going for her on that court. So it's like a picture reel, you know. It's like the first question you ask. It's just a picture reel. It's quite. Uh, it's a little surreal. I don't know if I've grasped the whole thing yet. I don't know if I've grasped this whole uh, one last row yet. It's like a journey almost, you know, in itself. Well, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, this was sorry. No. This was your last uh, ATP of India you played. What was the best memory of playing in India that you playing can? In India, my God, guys asking big questions. <laughs> Man, where do we start? Um, the the biggest motivation I had as a kid was to play for India. The best journey I've ever had in my whole career is playing for India. I've just finished playing my last Maharashtra Open ATP event. Um, I've actually signed on to play Bangalore next week because uh, Sundar Raju, Sunil Yadavman, guys who have been they're big names in Indian tennis. The way they've supported Indian tennis, and I think it's apt that I go there and show my thanks to them. So I'm going to go there on next week and play. I play Wednesday evening probably, but. Uh, 
You know, like I said the other day, this one last draw is about a journey about celebrating everybody. Just showing reverence, showing thanks. But I don't think I've quite gra caught the grasp of this wave, this wave of this one last row is nuts. I mean, I'm getting messages and emails from all over the world asking for a t-shirt, asking for the merch. When can we watch? Which tournaments are you playing? We'll come to there. In Australia, I had Mexicans and Dominican Republicans coming into Melbourne, Australia to watching. Um, it would have been interesting winning today to play on Saturday mm. to see how the stadium would fill out. Mm. But uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see how Bangalore goes. Yeah. yeah. So you said this is your last run. It's been said. Uh, it's been you know. It's there out there. And you said you love playing for India. If you had to pick one last tour for yourself, <laughs> one last tour for yourself for this What's year. What's point? <laughs> my point is, what is the one thing that you would want to win? If there is one thing that you would want to win this year, one last tour in the most. One everything. Yeah, but my lot again. What would you want to win again? If you had this, if you had to know, if you, if you get the chance, you get the opportunity. I could sit here and say. A Grand Slam, I could sit here and say an Olympic medal, I could sit here and say Davis Cup to get India into the World Group. There's so many things to still win. Yeah, but one thing. If you had to pick one thing. I think if I can transition uh -huh. from being a professional athlete, where most athletes have had trouble with it, into my second innings. If I do that journey well over the next 18 months, okay. I will probably look forward to sitting here if we're both still around <laughs> in about 15 years okay. and letting one of our, my young kids answer that. Okay. That's the one thing I'd like to win. Okay. I'd like to help someone else win. Okay. And it could be anything in life. It could be India came close to reaching the moon. Mm. We haven't won a Grand Slam in a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. you know, it could be getting into the world group. Davis Cup could be preparing other athletes. It could be motivating 745 million people to be champions themselves. Okay. I think that would be cool. The transition would be amazing. It's funny how uh, uh, it's funny how I'm very motivated by this. So from student of the game to student of life. Yeah, and student of other games. Hmm. There are so many other things in life that are there than just tennis. I've had a phenomenal run over the years.